Israeli Americans Hebrew Americum Yisraelim lit Americayim Yisraelim are Americans who have Israeli citizenship either by descent or naturalization Reflecting Israel's population while the majority are Jewish they also include Muslims Christians and Druze Topic History Israelis began migrating to the United States shortly after the founding of the State of Israel in 1948. Thus, during the 1950s 21,376 Israeli immigrants came to the U.S. and the 1960s saw 30,911 Israeli immigrants, often seen as the first wave of Israeli immigration to the United States when 52,278 Israelis emigrated to the U.S. according to U.S. immigration data. A second wave of modest immigration continued with a total of 36,306 Israelis during 1970 to 1979, 43,669 in 1980 to 1989, 41,340 in 1990 to 1999 and 54,801 in 2000 to 2009. Since 2010, Israeli migration to the US and has continued at around 4,000 per year since. The number of immigrants in the United States born in Israel is estimated by demographers to be close to 140,000, while the number of Israeli immigrants in the U.S. is an issue that has been debated by laymen to be much larger, a phenomenon of overestimation of co-ethnic population common to many ethnic communities. Israeli immigration to the United States developed during the 1980s and 1990s due to a number of reasons, including the war between Israelis and Palestinians and high taxes and lack of housing available in their homeland. Also, the acquisition of aspects of American culture especially fashion and entertainment in Israel caused many Israelis to want to have the economic and educational opportunities of the United States. Demographics Since the declaration of the State of Israel, and until today many Israelis emigrated to the United States. The 2000 United States Census estimated that as many as 106,839 Israelis live in the United States nowadays, while other unsourced estimates say the number is much higher, around 500,000. A considerable numbers of Israelis, estimated broadly from 200,000 to three times that figure, have moved abroad in the recent decades Yerida, .According to statistics from the United States Department of Homeland Security, between 1949 and 2015, about 250,000 Israelis acquired permanent residency in the United States. The statistics did not track those who eventually moved back to Israel. In 2012, a global religion and migration database constructed by the Pew Research Center showed that there were a total of 330,000 native born Israelis, including 230,000 Jews, living outside of Israel, in the United States, and elsewhere around the world, approximately 4% of Israel's native born Jewish population. Based on current estimates of Israel born Jewish migrants to the U.S. of 140,000, two thirds of Jewish Israeli native emigrants have settled in the U.S. and the remaining third in Canada, Europe, South America, South Africa, and the remainder of the world. In addition to native born Israelis and Israelis who originally immigrated to Israel from other countries and then moved on to the United States, there have been American Jews who immigrated to Israel and became Israeli citizens, lived there for a certain period of time, and later returned to the United States. Israeli demographer Yinan Cohen estimated the number of American born Israelis who had returned to the United States to be between 30,000 and 60,000 by 1990, and between 53,000 and 75,000 in 2000. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development calculated an expatriate rate of 2.9 persons per thousand, putting Israel in the mid range of expatriate rates among the 175 OECD countries examined in 2005. The New York City Metropolitan Metropolitan area has now become by far the leading metropolitan gateway for Israeli immigrants legally admitted into the United States, with the Los Angeles metropolitan area now in a distant second place. Within the United States, as of April 2013, Israeli airline El Al operated from John F. Kennedy International Airport and Newark Liberty International Airport, both in the New York City metropolitan area, as well as from Los Angeles International Airport. 
The New York City metropolitan area is home to the largest Jewish community outside Israel, and the city proper contains the largest Jewish community in the world. In 2009, Stephen M. Cohen and Judith Weinstein found that in New York, Jewish Israeli emigrants are highly affiliated with the Jewish community even though community affiliation is low in Israel. Israelis were found to be more connected to Judaism than their American counterparts in terms of synagogue membership and attendance, kashrut observance, participation in Jewish charity events, and membership in Jewish community centers, among other indicators used by the study. In 1982, Pini Herman and David LaFontaine, in a study of Israeli emigrants in Los Angeles, found high levels of Jewish affiliation, Jewish organizational participation, and concentration in Jewish neighborhoods by Israeli emigrants. Israeli emigrants who behaved in a comparatively secular manner in Israel tended to behave in a more devoutly Jewish manner in Los Angeles and Israeli emigrants who reported greater Jewish behaviors in Israel tended to engage in Jewish behaviors to a lesser degree in Los Angeles, thus both becoming more Americanized in their Jewish behaviors. Israelis tend to be disproportionately Jewishly active in their diaspora communities, creating and participating formal and informal organizations, participating in diaspora Jewish religious institutions and sending their children to Jewish education providers at a greater rate than local diaspora Jews. By generations Based on the 2013 Pew American Jewry Survey estimate base on Jews by religion, no religion, Jewish background who were born in Israel is 140,000 nationally. American Jews born in Israel had 40,000 children under age 18 in their U.S. households. Another estimated 170,000 Jewish adults not born in Israel have at least one parent born in Israel, and these adults have an estimated 200,000 children under the age of 18 who have at least one Israel-born grandparent. An additional 60,000 American Jews reported that they had once lived in Israel. By state The U.S. States by Israeli Americans as per the 2000 census. Topic: Culture and organizations. Various Israeli American communities have their own newspapers which are printed in Hebrew. Communities arrange cultural, entertainment and art events including celebrations of the Israeli Independence Day which usually takes place in Israeli-American demographic centers, and some have the Israeli Network Channel, which consists of a selection of live broadcasts as well as reruns of Israeli television news broadcasts, entertainment programs and Israeli sport events. Hundreds of thousands of spectators view the annual Celebrate Israel Parade on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, which touts itself as the world's largest celebration of Israel. At the 2017 Celebrate Israel Parade in Manhattan, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo declared the Sunday Shimon Peres Day in New York and announced a new venture to promote cultural heritage tourism between Israel and New York. As Cuomo marched alongside the son of the late Israeli leader, a variety of Hebrew language websites, newspapers, and magazines are published in New York, Los Angeles, South Florida, and other U.S. regions. The Israeli channel along with two other Hebrew language channels are available via satellite broadcast nationally in the United States. Hebrew language Israeli programming on local television was broadcast in New York and Los Angeles during the 1990s, prior to Hebrew language satellite broadcast. Live performances by Israeli artists are a regular occurrence in centers of Israeli emigrants in the U.S. and Canada with audience attendance often in the hundreds. An Israeli Independence Day festival has taken place yearly in Los Angeles since 1990 with thousands of Israeli emigrants and American Jews. In Los Angeles, a Council of Israeli Community was founded in 2001. In 2007, an Israel Leadership Council (ILC) was also organized in Los Angeles. Later, it was renamed Israeli American Council, and it has been active in supporting activities for Israel. Most recently, in 2008, it sponsored with the local Jewish Federation and Israeli Consulate a concert in support for the embattled population suffering rocket attacks of Darrow, Israel where the three frontrunners for the U.S. President, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, John McCain greeted the attendees by video and expressed their support for the residents of Darrow. An Israeli business network of Beverly Hills has existed since 1996. 
The Israeli American Study Initiative (IASI), a startup project based at the UCLA International Institute, is set out to document the lives and times of Israeli Americans, initially focusing on those in Los Angeles and eventually throughout the United States. Topic: <laughs> Economic contributions. According to CNN, Israeli companies are establishing entrepreneurial ventures in New York City at the rate of 10 new startups per month. Topic: <laughs> Relationship with American Jews. Israeli Americans are generally seen as having less interaction with the non-Israeli Jewish American community and its institutions, often preferring to maintain ties of association with other Israeli Americans. Jewish Americans, especially religious Jewish Americans, tend to maintain correspondingly sparse contact with the Israeli American community besides participation in religious ceremonies. At one point, religious American Jews viewed Yordam as being the antithesis of the Jewish peoples eternal hope of return and permanent settlement in Israel, but now consider them an important subgroup within the broader American Jewish community. An estimated 75% of Israeli Americans marry within the Jewish community, as opposed to about 50% of non-Israeli Jewish Americans. Notable people In popular culture Comedian writer Robert Smigel came up with a Saturday Night Live sketch in 1990 called the Sabra Shopping Network. Two years later, Smigel followed it up with Sabra Price is Right, starring Tom Hanks as a pushy Israeli game show host, Sandler and Rob Schneider as its presenters, and Smigel as a cigarette smoking announcer, all pushing shoddy electronics on hapless clientele. The concept for the 2008 You Don't Mess with the Zohan movie, which was based on the skits, Sabra Shopping Network and Sabra Price is Right, focused on Zohan Dvir, an IDF commando soldier, who stages his own death to fulfill his deepest dream moving to New York to become a hairdresser. At the end of the 2005 film Munich, the main character Avner, played by Eric Bana, who is an Israeli Mossad agent, decides to move from Israel to Brooklyn, New York, to reunite with his wife and their child. Topic. See also. Israelis. Israeli Canadians. Israeli British. Yerida.